that fast, man. Feed them to you this morning. Now, what's wrong with you? Look, if I start to tell you, it will take the whole day, right? So hurry up. All right, boss. Anything you say. And when you're talking to the boss, don't give the man any fancy talk. Listen, it's true I want the job. But me begging nobody for a job. You want me to go there like a woman beg? Well, you better get this job. Talking like a boss for true. You know something? What? Like you more hurry for me to get this job than I hurry. But Danny, it's not today we together. It's ten months already. And like we just can't see with it. Look, when I bring you here, I was doing a good job, right? Yes. But the black for one then burned down the place and the limo. What more you want me to do? I feel I should go out to work. No, there's one thing I don't want you to do. You too jealous for yourself. You feel somebody will make a move with me. Look, let me forget the whole thing. I want to be in a good mood when I apply for this job. Remember to give them that million dollar smile of yours. <laughs> nice to see you still remember that. Why you say so, Danny? Well, we argue so much nowadays. I suppose we're now beginning to know each other and to see the faults. Well, we both have faults. It's time to go now, Danny. It's only half past seven. Well, when you reach the store on Henry Street, it will be about ten to eight. They don't open until eight o'clock. Don't tell me you want to go any people's place hot and sweaty. You need a few minutes to cool off. Only woman that think about all sorts of things, eh? All right, I'm ready. Good luck. Hey, just so? You have to give me a little good luck, eh? You just invent that one. Let me show you how. Me alone to follow all them drums in the yard. And the children gone to school and Raj sleeping drunk from last night. I just some calabash coffee. I buy some bread they to eat. All that bread for you alone? Well, mm, it's not only for today. It's for the whole week. As you see me looking so, I just only eat a little bit like a kiss to the bird. What kind of bird that is? An ostrich? Miss Narga, you get one beside yourself. Do me seven here right now, hello. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. I'm looking for a young lady by the name of Shirley Wells. Shirley Wells, who lives in the Danny King? Uh, yes. Where is her house? House? You mean room? Go up to that long box building on this side of the road. You will see a blue door. She lives in there. Knock hard, eh? She does always close up tight when she man going out. That's you. Gosh, Olga, he nice there. Eh? I could take him on right now. He kind of resembles Shirley. Must be she father. Let me hurry up and see if you can find out what she come here for. You say Tina is a Mako, but you're just as bad. Oh, gosh, Olga, I'm Mako and Shirley. If I go outside, she door to wash my ways. I can't prevent my ears from hearing what's going on. That is just as Mako, because you have no right to put yourself there when you can't have visitors. Oh God, let me explain. I don't want to fire the money for us now. Daddy, don't bother. I've not seen you for months, Shirley. Daddy, I'm sorry about the way I behave. Look, Shirley, I'm the one who is wrong. I should not object to the young men you brought home. Your friend should be mine. But surely this life with him like this? Daddy, don't come with that again. What is wrong with it? He loved me and I love him. When I tell you I want to marry him, your answer was over your dead body. 
So I left your house, right? But I didn't think you would react like that. But I told you I would do it. But I did not expect you to do it, Shirley. What happened? You still ashamed of what your friends think? No, I think of only how dull the house is without you. Shirley, I've come to ask you to come back home. True, Daddy. I can't believe it. But I love Danny. I can't leave him. Danny can come and live with us, too. You're not serious. You sure Mother will want Danny and I together in the house? Of course, she feels you should marry before you come at us. You feel so, too? Well, yes. But if you like to come at us and then get married, it's also all right. Look, Shirley, whatever you do, we'll have no objection. That's very nice of you. But I can't decide by myself when Danny comes. Where is he? He went to apply for a job. You mean he's not working? That's right. How do you all live? Well, he had a little saving, and he got severance pay when he was laid off. That's tough. I hope he gets a job. He will, Daddy. Uh, I want to offer you something to drink, but I have no ice. No fridge? No, I'll have to go down the road by Ali's parlor for it. Don't bother with the drink. I think I'll be leaving now in any case. I'm sorry I did not meet Danny. Maybe I can come back tomorrow to hear your answer? Let's say Friday, okay? Look, Shirley, take this. My new number. 73682. Call me anytime. Okay. Goodbye, Shirley. Bye. A kiss for Daddy. How do I get out of here? You have to reverse. Look out when you reach the main road. I'll see you. Resembling you too bad. He's the father? Yes, Miss Maybell. First time I ever see him in Calabash. But it's nice to have people like he come to look for people like me. I mean people like you. You must introduce the neighbors to your father, man. Well, nobody was near. But how do you mean? A position myself right there when he leaves. And how do you mean you didn't see me? Now, I find you get none kind of social, you know. You know me. I don't trouble nobody. But if anybody play in the greater than me, and they see that too low class, well, it's me and them. Wait, Miss Mabel. I didn't see it for true. My mind was kind of worried now. Well, I could understand that as Danny not working now. What happened? He get a job for Danny? No, Danny went to look for a job this morning. Oh! No wonder my boy was looking so... This morning, you know you have a nice man there. I'm telling you, if I was 25 years younger, I would have given you a good training. <laughs> but how are you looking at me, girl? In my days, when I walked the road in town, so, man used to hold their head and ball for murder. But now, I get too fat and old. But I still have more sex appeal than that old magatina which she two foot like matchstick. Miss Mabel, after one start up Danny lunch for when he come. We'll talk later. I notice any time I stop to talk to you, you just make excuse to go and do something. No, it's not that. It's just that I don't know what to cook. I have to go and look and see what we have to eat. All right, I will see you then. I hope Danny get the job. You could say that again. 